Just before we start, I am not the inspiration for the character Roz from Monsters Inc. <laughs> no, the slug woman. That I'm watching you as I'm skiing. Alright, just pointing that out. I should start by saying I'm quite a bit of woman. And it's not because I'm fat. I like being fat, I'm one of the jolly ones. <laughs> I like being fat because it really annoys people and they have to sort of <laughs> from over the road sometimes, out of white vans. <laughs> like I don't have eyes or mirrors. <laughs> it's when they get really cruel and say things like, God, you're disgusting to look at. Can't stand the sight of you. I hope you get diabetes, then you might lose a foot. At least you're way less. And I say, why do you have to be so cruel, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bitter because I'm in my forties, and in my brain, I'm still 23. I can still party. <laughs> Hence, this shit hips to look I've got going on in there. I can grow a better beard than most hipsters, though. So. <laughs> Yeah, I still think I can party like I'm 23. I disproved this by going out, not last weekend, not the weekend before, but the weekend before that, I've still got the fucking hangover. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, that's not even a joke. <laughs> so yeah, my body's crumbling and my boyfriend said to me, don't bother writing any material, use it to your advantage. Just come on stage, piss yourself, <laughs> Slip in the piss, <laughs> fall on your ass. <laughs> because obviously what is funnier than a fat woman falling over? <laughs> I will level with you, Solter. I have pissed myself twice since I got on this stage. <laughs> Can we get a wet floor sign down, please? <laughs> I'm kidding, I've got Tenor Lady. <laughs> All familiar with Tenor Lady? Yeah. Helps yeah. with bladder weakness. Yeah. I want to see a real, like, honest ad. I want a woman, about 45, red face, crying, <laughs> going, I'm 45! I'm giving birth to three eight-pound babies. I thought the third one fell out. <laughs> <laughs> My pelvic floor is shot to shit. I can't blink without pissing myself. <laughs> now I can leave the house next to Jenna Lady. <laughs> Yeah, the joy. And I've just noticed that there is a, a lovely lift. I'm not picking on the child. But well, the joy of being a woman and growing an entire human is that that human, after they've rented your womb for nine months, smashes the way out of you. So you can't do basic tasks without a little bit of weak on you. And then you get to your 40s and you get something called the perimenopause. Now that isn't a new sauce at Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> That's the practice menopause. Now I didn't get the fucking memo about this. I don't want to practice. I want to go right to the end, thanks. I want to complete the menopause. It's a bit like if we said to you blokes, right, we're going to give you the snip, but for the seven years leading up to that, we're just going to gently kick you in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> yes, let's do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, my body really sort of got me back a couple of years ago when I slipped a disc so badly it smashed into my spinal column. So go hard or go home, that's what I say. Um, it was about this time that my boyfriend thought it would be brilliant to change the word for pain in my iPhone keyboard to sexy trouble. <laughs> but because I was in quite a lot of sexy trouble. <laughs> so I'm sending texts to like boss saying, no, no, the sexy trouble's fine. <laughs> like, you know, I've my family, friends and family, the sexy trouble meant to work perfectly. <laughs> How laughed. I did. I was on morphine, it was brilliant. <laughs> He did completely excel himself though with my name. When I signed off to emails and texts, instead of saying Kerry, it said Sad Cave. <laughs> Sad Cave? What could he mean by that? Well, that is his affectionate name for my vagina. <laughs> I think he calls it Sad Cave because it's massive, damp, and men have occasionally got trapped in it. <laughs> I did find out there's a 
some real sake in Okinawa, Japan. <laughs> Gets loads and loads of tourists, like visitors out the door queuing for my... Is he trying to say that I'm easy? <laughs> he's right. I think he's rude. Right, I'll say I'm going to call his dick Theresa May from now on. <laughs> and no, uh, not because it's strong, not strong or stable like him, <coughs> or he's got no rhythm. No, because he can't finish the fucking job. <laughs> 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 I'd rather that, though, than Boris Johnson. <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit, like, drier than an arid desert. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my lovely boyfriend is a, is a joy. <laughs> While we're on the subject of um, my sad cave, I guess that we're getting to, like, troubling times politically. And we might have to fend for ourselves. I guess I could open my sad cave as a tourist attraction. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine the trip advisory reviews. <laughs> Very spacious. Well, that's a lot of smell. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like grubby when I slipped and touched its walls. <laughs> Has a very untidy entrance. <laughs> now, while we're on the subject of massive twats, <laughs> Piers Morgan. <laughs> yeah, good old Piers. Oh, he started the year off though, like ill. Had a mystery illness. Who knew drinking Donald Trump's bathwater would be quite, quite so toxic? <laughs> Shouldn't really pick on him while he's ill, should we really? Let's wait till he's dead and hack into his voice mails. <laughs> Piers with all of his opinions, about as welcome as getting your period on date night. <laughs> Looks like he was carved out a spam. <laughs> and as for Katie fucking Hopkins, <laughs> well, I better go. Because this tenor lady is not going to hold any more pics. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been